Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to discuss how to get an algebraic expression from a trigonometry expression. Now, more often than not, to get an algebraic expression from a trigonometry expression, there is use of inverse trigonometric functions. So, what you want to do is, if you have that, you want to use the definitions of the trig terms that you have and then go from there. So here's a couple of illustrations to show you what it is I'm talking about. If you have, for example, arctan of 2 equals to u, what this allows you to do is it gives you some clues as to what it is that you're looking for. Now, more often than not here, it involves use of right triangles. So here's how to transition from this trigonometry equation, if you will, to an algebraic expression. Now, to get rid of arctan, is, which is what you want to do, you want to take the tangent of both sides. So what that means here is, you're not multiplying, but you're taking the tangent of both sides. Now the operations tan and arctan cancel each other out, so you're left with 2 equals to tangent of u. Now u can be thought of as, as an angle, if you will. Now let me switch these around, so if tangent of u is equal to 2 to show you what it is I'm looking for. Now, I talked about right triangles before, so we're going to draw a right triangle like so. And I could put the u here or the u here, but I'll put the u right there. Now, what you have to think about is the definition of tangent as it relates to triangles. Now, if you remember, tangent is equal to opposite over adjacent. That's the definition. Now, for tangent, since this is 2, you have to think of this as 2 over 1. So that means the opposite side is 2 and the adjacent side is 1, so that means 2 and 1. Now, as you might imagine, you have two sides of a triangle that's already known, but where does that leave the hypotenuse? That's what we're trying to find out. Let's call this thing x. And so to transform this to an algebraic expression, you want to use the Pythagorean theorem, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, leg squared plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared. So you have 2 squared plus 1 squared is equal to x squared, and then you can get x by itself if you want from here. This is going to be 4 plus 1, which is equal to x squared. So x squared is equal to 5, and you can solve for that very easily. Take the square root of both sides. x is equal to plus or minus square root of 5. Now, because generally sides of a triangle should be positive, you want to just take the positive square root of 5. But the important thing here is you're more often than not going to be given an inverse trig function and then take whatever operation that you need on both sides, and then use the definitions to set up an algebraic expression. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's a brief glimpse on how to get an algebraic expression from a trigonometry expression.